Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Game of Life, my long anticipated return to this game. Where I left off a year ago is I had finally beaten the regular classic board game with all number of AIs, so now we are going to play on the enhanced mode. And as I did with the classic mode, I will start by just going up against one AI, and then if I can beat that, then I'll go up against two AIs, and if I beat that, three, four, on and on and on. So let's just pick one AI for this game, and let's go. I genuinely have not even, like, booted this game since my last YouTube video, so... This is gonna be fun, but forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty. Also, I have never, not even that I can remember as a kid, ever played on the enhanced mode. And I only know that there's something about mini games that you can play on this mode that you couldn't on classic. Otherwise, I have no idea what to expect out of this game mode at all. Ooh, I'm definitely going first. I'm going into it blind. Oh, yeah. So I... The, all of this is just going to be brand new to me. You know, strap in and we're going to figure this out together. Uh, how about... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do college. How about that? One. Oh, that's awesome. $20, oh, I turned the narrator off? Big Brother was awarded the first ever scholarship for body piercing. Nice. Hey, it's a $20,000 scholarship, so... I'll have to turn the narrator on. I forgot... Again, I haven't played this in a year. I forget that I think... By default, the narrator stays off. Okay, that's that's not bad. I do have a fair shot at getting a higher salary, though, since yours is only fifty. But that's not terrible. Does it like children? Why, yes, it does. It just ate three of them for breakfast. I'm gonna guess that's not what they meant when they asked, "Does it like children?" <laughs> Get a life. What? Reveal the, the reveal letters. Oh, I like being six books. Okay. But this isn't a house. He's supposed to be buying a house. What is this? He's getting them all. Uh, what? Okay, there we go. We finally got one wrong. Okay, he got two wrong. Cool. This is his last one. So now what? Does he not get a house? Or, or does he just not get any money, because it says zero, zero thousand winnings. Wait, he gets to go again? No, this is a, no, this is a computer. Wow. There really were three E's and he missed all of them. Nice. So now what? The game's running really slow. This game I actually do run off of the CD. I have to. So it's kind of slow. Uh, just for a second here. Where is Mr. Narrator here? There he is. Alright, back to the game. Your turn, Orange. Thank you. Um, let's go. Four. Wow, I'm zooming through college. Really? Really? Man, going to college was not a good idea. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I like that one. Wow. Oh, hey! Okay, now I don't feel so bad since he lost a turn as well. <laughs> she wasn't even, like, looking at that one, dude. If you just follow the path, I mean, those little stepping stones on the ground... Thank you. Those little stepping stones on the ground pretty much showed you the way out of that very small little maze. You could have figured it out without the signs. Oh, good for me. The Dean was even nice enough to autograph my arm. This is one of the ones that I don't understand. Life's little games. Spin to win, spin to play. But I didn't even... Wait. So, wait, did David actually land on buy a house? He did, right? Did he? 
Is that even what he landed on? I thought he did. But now that seems really early in the game. And why- Now why am I getting this? I just landed on a regular old- Oh, it's a life tile, though. Oh, so maybe these games, you play only on tiles where you would have collected a life tile. And now instead you play games? I don't know if this is good or- I don't know if this is better than the other way or not, because at least this way you can see what you're gonna get out of that life tile. Potentially. But if it's a game, you lose the game, then you get absolutely nothing. And at least on the other game mode, I think every left tile has to be worth at least 5,000 or maybe 10? Maybe? Something like that? Like, there's a minimum value. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, I just realized... Because I was wondering why our little icons down here looked kind of different. It's because there's no number counter on the lower left for life tiles. Okay, not a life tile. Yeah, so the game isn't counting life tiles because we're not collecting them. That's... that must be what the games are for. Okay. So other than that, this game mode is the same as the other one, it seems like? Seven. Stop. Job search. Pull the handle for your career choices. Okay, let's hope I get something good, since I spent so much time in college. Uh, I will be accountant. That sounds nice to me. Oh, yeah, that's what I went to college for. There, now we're talking. Oh, wonderful. It should have been a slam dunk for me to get a higher salary than David, and yet I barely did it. Uh, so where was David? Yeah, so what- 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 what was I saying that I thought he landed on to buy a house thing? I'm insane. He's only right here. What did he land on? Uh... My, maybe rent an apartment? I don't know. That was weird. I was having a brain fart. Maybe I'm not awake. It's a little early in the morning for me, so maybe I'm just not awake right now. So never mind. It looks like... That's not bad, so... What a great day on the slopes. I love the audio for this. Whoever they got to voice act that is amazing. Um, so it looks like those spots where you buy a house or do a job search are the same. So it's just the spots where you would collect a life tile. Oh, but what about this? You get a life tile for getting married. Do you just not get a life tile, or are you going to play a game after this cutscene? Hmm. Oh, you do. Collect your money from each player. What? Excuse me? What? He what? What? I don't support this wedding. I'm I'm not giving you my money. Thank your uncle, the mortician, for the flowers. Hey, the flowers look wonderful. I don't care who gave them to you. <laughs> well, that's a bunch of baloney. Because I, I was just about to say that all happened so fast. When I looked at the list, I was like, oh, it's all dollar values. Cool, there's no game to play. You get money no matter what. I didn't realize it was going to be my money. Wow. So what else? So there's the get married spot, and then later on, there's going to be that buy a house spot. Maybe you do the same thing then? You just steal money from other people? What else would there be? Get married, buy a house. Those are like the only two big ones. Gift money, huh? Okay. Wow. Collect your money from each player. Okay. So I got my money back. Alright, fine. I got my money back, so we're all good. Happy honeymoon. Our room is nice. I love the view of Niagara Falls. But I'm not so sure about the barrel. I don't get this one either. Is this in reference to like some disaster? Where somebody 
fell into the river and then fell down Niagara Falls, but because they were in a barrel, they survived, and now it's like a safety feature that tourists wear a barrel. Like, I have no idea what that means at all. Um, okay, let's do it. Nah, the suspense is the game has to load. Ooh, sounds fun. Eight times, keep the amounts that match. Keep the amounts that match. So I can just hit whatever. And the game will automatically keep what matches? Ooh, wow, okay. Wait, so is every tile gonna be a different spot? Is that how it works? Oh, oh, I get it, it resets. Oh, so this is like, um... I don't know. I don't know what the name of it is. It's, it's that one game. Oh my god, hold on. Holy crap. Do I keep going or do I just get that? The first time I make a match, I'm done. Do I keep going? I keep going. I bet, I bet 100,000 is the highest one there was. Oh my god. Yeah, I bet 100,000 is the highest one. Oh shit. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll take the five, just because I know that that's there. Well, that's a whole lot of money. No kidding! 105,000, I'll take that. I already have $310,000 and we just started the game. I bet you- um, well... Oh, there was 50s in there. And then the 75. Oh, and 20, yeah. 175, 50, 20, 10, 5. Wow. Alright. Um, yeah, so... I bet that if you had a full game... That maybe... Actually, that's gonna be interesting. If I get to... Play games where I have multiple AIs. Because you would run out of life tiles. I want to say usually when there's around like three or four people total is when you start to run out of life tiles towards the end, so then what do you do? Since there's technically no life tiles in this game mode, do you just play a lot of game? Every time you land on a spot, you just play a game? But the normal games don't have you stealing money from other players. It's only these special spots, at least so far, that have you stealing money. So that makes me think that even on a game full of people... I am rolling in dough. You all laughed when I picked those numbers. <laughs> uh, so even on a full game, then, I bet you you can retire with a crap ton of money. Whereas in the other game mode, it's really all dependent on your salary for how much money you retire with. You're gonna do that? I guess you want a better salary than 50000 but in this game mode, it seems like salary is not as important as just winning the games, or doing well on the games. Because you get fistfuls of cash on those games, unless I'm getting very lucky, which is possible. Oh, here we go, buy a house to see if I'm gonna make it. That is enough. Stop, buy a house. Buy a house. Choose a house, click on buy this house, then spin to determine the price you'll pay. Choose a house. Interesting. So in this game mode, you actually get to literally pick what house you want? Really? Oh, I see, but the, the prices are changing. Oh my god. Ah, oh, but see, it's been so long since I've played this game, I don't remember what the, like, what the real value of these houses are. Like, is a mobile home normally worth, I don't know, 60000 And so you have a chance of paying more than you would normally, or of paying less? Like, I don't know what the normal value of these were. I definitely don't remember. Well, I have a crap ton of money. But then, I don't know if you're gonna get your money back at the end of the game. For houses, but I don't think you did on the classic game mode either. I think we already established that for some reason, somehow, you didn't sell your house at the end of the game, even on classic mode, so the house you bought was worthless. 
or I should say just buying an expensive house was a waste of money. Okay, um... How about, I, I guess I'll buy the farmhouse, but I, because I couldn't afford to pay a full price for it, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to get any of this money back at the end of the game, unless this game mode actually does have you sell it at the end, which I guess we'll find out. Um, so do you want to click to buy? Okay, I'll buy it. Do I even want to know what inheritance means? Does this mean that you get money from the other person? Is that is that your inheritance? <laughs> you make them pay for it? I don't even want to know. Oh, the suspense. Come on, game. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. I know that was a discount. That's the second most expensive house in the game. There is no way that that was normally priced at 80000 Absolutely not. So I just got a huge discount on that. Oh, nice. Again, I feel like I'm getting insanely lucky. Does anybody else agree? Anyone else who's played this game mode, am I doing really well? I feel like I'm doing really well. Payday! That must be my payday. Revenge! Collect $90,000. Your turn, Red. Huh? Eight. What? Stop. Buy a house. Did the, did the spot I land on say collect a life tile? I wasn't even paying attention. Did I just automatically get his money rather than playing a game? That's a pretty big one too, buddy. Oh my god. I'm confused. What was the revenge thing? The tile had nothing to do with being a doctor, or... I feel like that's also a fair price. I don't feel like he got scalped on that one. But he did pay more than me for a less expensive house. For what should have been a less expensive house. Anyway, what was that? What was that revenge thing? I'm so confused. What happened? What was that? Spin again, Red. Seven. Is that gonna happen later on? Does that is that just like a random event that the game will redistribute wealth whenever it feels like it? Just two more, and we'll have our own baseball team. I think you should stop having kids. <laughs> Truth be told. Twins. Your money from each Wait, why am I giving you- oh, Spin again for more? Excuse me? How much money do you want to give him? It's his fault he had twins, not mine. Excuse me? What? Ooh. What was that? That wasn't even a special spot, like buying a house or getting married. Why did he get to take my money for that? Uh, what? What is happening? Why is my money being funneled over to him? Okay, if I have a child here, I know that's going to be a life tile. But is it going to be the one where I just get to take his money? Let's find out. Have a baby girl. I've heard of baby booms, but this is ridiculous. Baby booms? I don't know that terminology. You do? So, so buying a house and having kids allows you to take money? Okay. Collect your money from each player. Okay, and then I only get to do it once because I only had one kid. And because that was a twin spot, that's why I got to spin twice. Oh, yeah. Once for each kid. Oh yeah, I gotta do this. Thank you, David. I didn't even buy stock either, but... I don't feel like in this game mode that's gonna be as important because there's so many other ways to get money and apparently lose money out of your control. Not gonna bother with that, but yeah, I do need insurance, don't I? That might be a good idea. That is wild. Is he gonna have another kid? No, I'm on that spot. 
It's like he knew he was going to spin that somehow. Perfect. End scene. That was awesome. Good job, everybody. <laughs> okay, my turn. Uh, we're going to do this as well. And we're not going to bother with stock. Okay, go. Okay. Okay, here's a life tile spot. Hey, what party are you with? Eh, let him talk. He'll tell you all about it. Yeah, so this is just the regular, the regular version. Where it's, I'm not stealing money. Okay, let's see what we do. Up or down? Pick as many as you want, but some are plus and some are minus. Okay. Oh, that's rough. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, we're going in the wrong direction. Pick as many as you want. So that must mean that there are more negatives than positives, because otherwise, why would I not just click every single button here? Oh, phew. That was nice. We're almost back. Back in the green. Okay. Okay, cool. I feel like we should just end it here, because I don't know about this. There has to be more negatives than positives, because there's otherwise no downside to clicking every single one. And maybe I'm lucky that I am pulling out ahead right now, so let's just end it there. Is the game going to reveal to me the rest of the tiles, though? Yes, that was a negative, negative, negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Oh, it might be about even. Oh, it might be close, actually. 20, 10, 50. Yeah, actually, it was even, wasn't it? There was like a, a, a positive and a negative of each number value. So it was actually even. So if you hit every single one... You just walk away with nothing. Well, in that case, then there is no reason not to go ahead and hit every single tile. Because the worst that happens if you hit every single one is you walk away with nothing at all. Which is like never playing and doesn't really... It's not a bad thing to not get anything. Or maybe that was just in this particular spot that it was like that. Maybe on other games there are more negatives than positives. Interesting. I think if I get that one again, I'm gonna try to just flip every single tile and see if I end up at zero. Looks like as good a time as any to earn that CPR merit badge. Slow your roll, Junior. She's not even in distress. Okay. Another new one. Wow, there are a lot of these actually. Red button to move the can. Then click on the green button to drop a ball. Catch the ball to win the money. There are a total of six balls. Click to start. Okay. I would if I could. I don't I don't have a mouse at the moment. I think the game might be loading or something. Where's my mouse? Hello? Mouse please. Oh. I couldn't see it. Okay, okay. Oh, this is like, uh... I don't know the name of this game either, but... Some, some, something or other. Okay, so they're all the same amount of money, no matter where I put the can. But I can't move the machine, I guess. I can only move the can. Um, I'm gonna guess if it drops it right there and it bounces off this... I mean, it might go out here. I'm gonna doubt it's gonna go straight down, so let's move it, like, over here, maybe. Do that. Oh god. Fantastic. So, if he's gonna drop it in the same spot, then would I not just go right to where it was before? Let's find out. Okay, what if I stay here and do it again? Okay, okay, it does sometimes go somewhere else. How about if I just stay here again, though? Is it never gonna move? Okay, do it again. 
Okay, then that- okay, if it's alternating every side, left, right, left, right, then now it should be on the left. I don't- I don't know if I was entirely playing that correctly. Was that- it was- again, was that too easy, or did I get lucky, or is that how that game normally goes? Because if I just alternate, now that I know the pattern, the next time I play that game, I'll just alternate. Because every time it dropped the ball, it went left or right. And it alternated. I mean, as it was, I got three out of five, or three out of six, of those balls. I don't know. Okay. Not gonna complain. Oh, I just noticed I'm already at a million dollars. We just hit 1980. We are, like, just at the halfway point, and I've already broken a million. Yep. That money stays with me, buddy. Oh. Ow. Ah. Your turn, Red. Five. Oh, we're actually, like, keeping pace with each other, too. He's right on me. That sounded bad. We're at the same part of the board. <laughs> Your turn, Orange. You've spun a four. Stock market slumps. Return one stock. I never had one. No worries. <laughs> I feel like I feel like there's a metaphor somewhere in there, and if I thought more about it, I could come up with one. You've spun a four. Daycare. Pay ten thousand dollars. Good. You're not gonna make me pay for daycare for your kids as well. I just have to gift you money for birthing them, and then I don't have to worry about it. Now it's your responsibility. Your turn, Orange. That also sounds like something that is political at the moment. <laughs> that's, uh, that's funny. Left or right? Um, um, I guess I'll go to taxes due, because I'm the accountant, so I don't actually lose any money on this spot. Um, oh, don't worry. Yeah, no problem. At least it looks pretty when it goes up in smoke. You know, the national debt doesn't always go up, though. It has been decreasing in this presidency, so it's not- it doesn't always go up in smoke. Not always. Payday. Oh, we never see this tile. Collect $80,000. What? See, like, what was that? What was that? Why did you just do that? Okay, he landed on a payday spot, so maybe that's what it is? Maybe revenge only happens when you land on payday? Oh yeah, didn't I give him 80000 So I Oh, so I'm giving him his salary. That's what it is. When you land on payday, you make the other computer pay your salary, rather than the bank. What about when there's multiple AIs, though? You're supposed to smash the cans with your feet, not the bottles. Duh. Got any brain cells in there, buddy? So if there were multiple AIs, would he get, like, his 80,000 salary from everybody? Would he be making insane amounts of money? Or maybe they just pick one person at random, and because this is only a two-person game, I'm always the one who has to pay. And then there's revenge in here, too, so... But how much would he pay? Because I'm not on a payday spot right now, so how much would we steal? Maybe I would spin to see how much I get to steal. That would be fun. Revenge. Oh my god, we're gonna find out right now. 
Wait, that's it? I don't actually get to play... Play? Revenge? Come on. Okay, fine. What else? What? Now it's just triple. I'm confused. What? What's happening? Is it like double the money of whatever game I eventually get to spin to play? Don't give me another 10. Get a life. That sounded mean. Feel the letters L I F E in six clicks or less to win. Oh, from David. Okay, so the revenge part means yes, I'm gonna get the money from David. And maybe the double part means that I'm gonna get double whatever I would normally get from this? Oh, I don't even have to reveal them in order. I can just reveal, reveal them whenever. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, no way! <laughs> Dude, I feel like I'm killing these games. Oh my god. Yeah, so there's no way that 200,000 was the normal winnings. Wow. There's no way that was normal. So that means the revenge part means that the winnings of this game would come from David. And then double means that it was going to be double whatever the normal winnings are. But does that mean that you normally win $100,000 on this minigame? That's still a crazy amount of money to win from one game. That's crazy amount of money. I almost have three times the amount of money he does right now. Oh my god. So I guess your salary... That's a lifestyle? No. So I guess your salary does still matter in this game? Uh, it does still matter because if you land on a payday spot, however much your salary is is how much you're taking from the other person. And of course, you know, you still get the money every time you pass through a payday spot. Huh. Did I just see summer school? I did. Oh, that's cheap. Never mind. Oh uh, no, this is summer school. You must want night school. Right over there. How interesting that they put them right next to each other. <laughs> Convenient, though. Four. Buy cabin on lake. Oh. Uh, that's not cheap. There, that just negated your payday you just got, like, a minute ago. Your turn, Orange. One. Wow, we are both moving so fast. I'm already doing it. You said it, buddy. And that is, that is not a character, but... Spin to win, spin to play. Okay. Okay. Get a life. Here we go again, round two. There's L-I-F-E in six clicks or less to win. But now that we don't have revenge and we don't have double, let's see what I would actually get for beating this. Cool. Cool. Oh boy, I just need an L, buddy. Okay, okay, we're not gonna win this instantaneously, that's fine. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> no! Now I'll never get to know what the normal winnings are. Bummer. Where were the L's? Where were all of my L's? Nope. There's one. Two. Three, yeah. Okay. You know what I just realized? It almost works out that each column will have your L, I, F, and E in it. If you just go by columns. It almost worked out that way. Interesting. I might have to try that next time. Just pick one whole column and then two other random ones and see if that helps. See if that increases the odds of winning. Did you really? Did you really? I know I was promised a big check, but. Revenge! Collect $80,000. That's not very nice. 
Not nice, David. One. Can we please spin higher than a one? English. I had to. My pet monkey won't learn English. I don't think it's capable of speaking. I don't think it has the vocal cords for that, buddy. I've just noticed a lot of these are now minigames, more than are just a cash amount. I wonder if that also changes as you get closer to the end. Oh, but I got the cash one. That as you get closer to the end of the board, there will be more opportunities to play games and less opportunities to get just cash. Maybe because that makes the game more interesting or it gives you more chance of stealing the money from the other person rather than just getting it from the bank. Interesting. I'll have to keep watching some more of these. Thank you. I'll have to keep watching some more of these minigame things, either when I get it or David gets it, and see if that holds up. Like, between now and the rest of the game, are are the possibilities going to be all minigames or nearly all minigames? That's not fair. You always win, Poindexter. Well, he's a genius. What do you want? There's a good spin. Have I been calling it a roll? I feel like I've been calling it rolls. I'm not playing Monopoly anymore. These aren't dice. We need to help Harry out. I hear he's homeless. Here he comes now. What a voice. Those turtles look like aliens without a shell on. Okay. Yeah, see, look, he's got one cache and all the rest are minigames. What's this? Open up to four saves. Keep the last amount you reveal. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, well, you better end the game there. I'm sure that's the highest one. Wait, yes. Okay, never mind. Yes, yes, he ended it there. There's only 100,000 Gs. Okay, so it's mostly 10s, 20s. 1, 100, 175, 250s. Open up to four. Hmm. So that's a game where you can't walk away with nothing. You have to walk away with something. Probably at least a ten. Hmm. So there's some of these mini games that you can actually lose money on, and some that you can just walk away with nothing, and some that you have to walk away with at least some dollar amount. Good to know. Thank you. So not every... Uh, not every minigame is necessarily bad. You spun a nine. Grand Canyon Vacation. Two words. Guardrail! I hope you didn't have a family that you're choosing to leave behind. By sacrificing your life for a safety demonstration. Um, I just noticed once again on this one, it was all mini games except for the one spot. So this is a game where if he just pulls them all, he should end at zero, right? Ooh. How much farther are you gonna go, buddy? You're getting really unlucky here. Oh my lord. Well, you. You can't- oh my god, dude, he's got all the negatives. You can't win the game, or you can't end it now. You're too far in the hole, yeah. There you go. Most of the rest of these should be positive, honestly. Yep, there should be a positive 100. And a positive 20. That should be all that's left, right? No? Yes. Oh, okay, I was just wrong. Yeah, so zero. You ended nothing if you pull them all. Well, now you have to be done. There's nothing left. Look at that middle column. All the positives were in the middle. Pretty much. That's funny. Yeah. So this is... So Then I'm confident that that's how this game works. Because this is how it was for me and how it is for him. If you just pull everything, you end up with zero. So there's no reason not to. If you are in the hole because you pull a bunch of negatives... You might as well just keep going, because the worst that happens 
is you pulled every negative at the beginning, and so you just have, will have to pull all the positives, and then you walk away with nothing. Like, that's worst case scenario on that game. So... There's no reason not to just pull them all. If you get in the hole early on. The lotto dough. Revenge. Collect ninety thousand dollars. Oh. I think is that the first time I've landed on a payday spot? Maybe second. No, maybe second. Seven. Day. It sure looks like a lot more when you get it in pennies. That is a terrible way to get paid. You are going to have a hell of a time trying to cash that in. Having to roll all those pennies yourself. And lug, I don't even want to know how heavy that is. All those pennies to the bank. Probably it's going to take you multiple trips too. Help the homeless. It's free room and board, and you get to watch a game for free on Saturday. Life's little games. Spin to win, spin to play. Okay, same thing. There's still all but one are mini games. Ah, oh, this one again. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can get insanely lucky on this one as well. Alright, alright. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't know that one. Okay. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Okay. I got the 50 and the 100 mixed up. Otherwise, I could have had the 100 there, but... Still, uh, this is one of those games where if you don't... If you don't win, you don't technically lose either. I didn't lose anything. I just didn't win anything. Oh, the Sun Fives are right next- oh, in the hundreds too, yeah. Wow. Oh well. Uh, I still have an insane amount of money, so it's fine. And I didn't lose anything, so I'm not gonna say that game was a failure. Your turn, Red. Six. It's payday, baby! Again! For a while there, we were gonna pay you in leftover chili. You cannot do that. That is illegal, buddy. If I'd won the minigame, then he would have gotten my minigame money back and not actual... Not my actual baseline, but that's okay. Trade your salary card with any player. No, I'm, I'm good, actually. Wait, I can choose payroll? Choose to trade size with any other player. The payroll department. Or keep yours. Well, but there's way more salaries in the game, right? 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40. Yeah, I mean, there's at least two other salaries. Two more than the four that are randomly here in payroll. And I would probably only get to hit one button, right? Just one? So I could keep mine for sure, take David's, which I'd have no reason to do because his is less than mine. Or if I hit the payroll, it could be the 100, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. That's seven possibilities. But there's only four buttons. So, like, the only thing that would be better than mine is the 100,000. But the 100,000 may very well not be in here because... Not every available salary is going to be here. There's too many. So, in my case, that would be a massive, massive risk to only hit 
one button. And I have a chance that I could hit the 100, or if the 100's not even here, then I had a 0% chance of getting a higher salary than what I have. Hmm. I think I'll definitely try that at some point in some game. I'll have to try that, where I just take payroll and see what I get. With a senior discount, now I can afford movies I don't want to see. Aren't you lucky? Maybe you should just watch them anyway. Maybe you would like them. And this better not come from me, right? Good, thank you. Not supplying your retirement. Yeah, so maybe in a future game I'll try that. Just hit the payroll button and see what happens. Uh, I mean, I think it's more than that. Oh yeah, and here we go. Look, now I'm in the 2000 decade, so we're in the last section of the game, and now there is no chance to just get cash. You have to play a game now. That's cool. I like that. That's neat. Okay, okay. Open up to four safes. Keep the last amount you reveal. Click Done to keep the current amount. Yeah, we know there's a lot of tens in here. There's a lot of tens. So worst case scenario is that I only walk away with ten. Okay, twenty. So now, uh, so now I guess here's how the game works. Now the risk is that I could pull, if I go one more, I could hit a ten. And ten is obviously less than twenty. But still better than the zero that I came in with. And we know that there are a lot of 10s in here, but I'm gonna just go ahead and try one more. How about this one? Okay, good thing I went for one more. Weren't there uh, five 10s, if I remember right? And three 20s? Oh, well, that still can't be right, there'd be too many spots. There's 100, 75, two 20s, three 20s, and five 10s, oh, I was right. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I now I do get that 50, right? Your turn, Red. I wasn't I guess I wasn't looking ahead of time. I did get that 50, didn't I? I should have. I'm sure I did. I'll I'll look at this when I edit it, but I'm sure I did. Well, excuse me. Spin to get money from other players. I don't know if that even matters on this game mode, but okay. At least he only got 5,000 out of me. So I am funding his retirement, basically. Really? $65,000. Don't you think that shirt's a little loud? Eh. He can wear what he wants. He's the one riding the horse, not you. Why, wait, why did he do that? Was that a life tile thing? But my spot didn't give me a life tile, and he's done. Why did he- where did that 5,000 even come from? Did that come from me or the bank? I wasn't even looking. What was that? Is he gonna do that every turn? Or a grandparent. Thanks to cloning, I can be my own grandpa. That's... Weird. Okay. Spin to win, spin to play. Okay. Cannonball. Okay. Fire eight times. Keep the amounts that match. All right. Let's pick like an easier pattern, maybe, and that'll help my pea brain remember. Okay. That was lucky. Okay. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Okay, how about these two down here? What? No way. No way. Okay, okay, how about these two on the left side? There's no way. Okay. Wow. That was awesome. <laughs> oh my god. 
I bet those 50s, 100s were probably across from each other, huh? No, okay, they weren't. That's so funny. I just happened to take that pattern of doing the outside starting from the left, and that actually worked quite well for me. That's awesome. What is this? What is he doing? That's not coming from me, right? I don't think so. The money amount must come out so fast. I didn't even see that. Is he even actually getting money? Or is he gonna get, like, the total of all this weird money he's getting at the end? Can we not? Year's Grammy goes to the caterer! So what is that thing? Is that a tower of carrots? Is that mini hot dogs? What is that thing? What are you doing? Why are you getting money? What's happening? Why are you just forking in the dough while you're sitting here? Damn, I'm coming as fast as I can, buddy. There, I'm retired. Now stop it. Countryside Acres or Millionaire Estates. So maybe that's a perk of Countryside Acres, that he just gets to fork in money while he waits for me? But since I'm the last one to finish now, who cares where I go? It's not gonna matter. But let's try Millionaire Estates just to see if I get to do anything special, even though I'm the last one to retire. I don't think I'm going to get anything, am I? No, and the game's just over. So we didn't sell our houses, either, on this game mode or the other one. We're just done. That was it. You're just done. And so I have no idea what Millionaire States did. And the winner is... Congratulations, Orange. You have won the game of life. With two million bucks. Which I guess... It's been so long since I've played. I'm trying to remember my other games. Maybe finishing with two million isn't too crazy? Although I feel like that's still pretty high. I feel like that's... Still a little bit on the higher side than normal. But then I feel like I got very lucky on most of those mini games we played, so maybe I'm normally not supposed to finish with two million. Hop into your private plane and take off for parts unknown. You say that, but it looks like I'm flying right back to the same board I just left. So I wouldn't say I'm going somewhere unknown. Okay, uh, that was it. I'm gonna turn you off, because you talk over me, I remember that. Overall, that was fun. I like that. Um, I don't mind those mini-games. I feel like I've learned a lot. I feel like this was a great first game, because a lot of different things happened, so I've learned a lot about how it works. Um, obviously, the which house you retire, retire at at the end, I think I'm gonna need, need some more experience. I'm gonna need to play some more games to fully figure out what that is, but... I feel like I now I know how Payday works, and I understand how Revenge works. I've played a good handful of games. There's still quite a few that we never played, but I've seen a good handful of them, and I know how they work. So overall, I feel like this is pretty fun. I don't know why I never played this mode as a kid. Maybe I was just... I don't know, I just didn't, didn't want to be adventurous and try something new. Um, but this was fun. I'll definitely do more of this, for sure. I'm not gonna say that I like this more than the classic mode yet, but I'm definitely leaning towards saying I like this more than the classic mode. <laughs> it's more interesting, since there's constantly money being exchanged back and forth, uh, things happen that are out of your control, and there's lots of opportunities to play other games to get more money than I feel like you would get if you just collected straight life tiles during the game. Like, you have the potential to win a whole lot more in those mini-games than whatever random value the game assigns to the life tiles that you would have automatically collected in classic mode. So I will definitely be playing more of this in the near future, um, since we just beat a game with one AI, and that was, in my opinion, quite easy. Uh, my next video, we will be going against two AIs. We'll stick with the enhanced mode and see how that goes. See if it gets harder as you get more people. Also, we'll see how revenge works when there's more than one person. Do you collect your payday from every player, or is it from one player at random each time? I don't know. We'll find out. 
So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.